Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going over Bryson Tiller and three ways and elements that he has used to create a unique brand. Number one, you got to do the dad cap. If you know Bryson Tiller, this guy always has a cap on. Sometimes he wears a regular cap, but for the most part, he wears a dad cap. And he said a lot of that has to do with his time back at UPS. He would wear the hat all the time. And it also relates to the fact that he had a daughter and he was proud of having a daughter. But the point is, he wears it consistently. And when you wear something consistently, it becomes a symbol of who you are in one way or another, particularly if you're amplified on the scale. Things that seem normal normal when you have low visibility become interesting and unique once you get a lot of people who know who you are like when he blew up but as I mentioned it was rooted and when he used to wear it all the time at work and the fact of how proud he is of his daughter which actually relates to number two because number two is relationships Bryson Tiller actually shows and uses his relationships as a branding Thing. Not intentionally, I don't think, but it really helps people connect with him because not only does he actually speak to women in his music or speak on relationships in his music that might create something that relates for males, but he also really shows how proud he is to be a father constantly on social media. He talks about it in interviews when he does them, and this creates another level of connection with that relationship as well because, hey, not only do a lot of women find it cute, right? But dudes even can respect it, especially dudes that have children. And when you combine why he wears the dad cap and the fact he's wearing a dad cap with this constant love that he's showing for his daughter, it creates this normalcy and situation that so many people can relate to. Psychologically, you feel like you really know this guy or you really could know this guy in comparison to so many other artists out there, but you're also rooting for him. And with that said, number three, Trap. Soul. This is his X Factor. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Trap Soul is a genre in itself that he basically created. And to really understand this, you have to refer back to Neo Soul. What the fuck? Now, Neo Soul was a genre that was created by music industry entrepreneur Kadar Massenberg. And that's what many of you probably recognize as the type of sound that's exemplified by Erica Badu, Maxwell, uh, D'Angelo, and so many of these artists that a lot of these uh, more earthy artists look up to. What many people don't realize is Kadar created the term Neo Soul as a marketing tactic to express what these artists were actually providing for the market. Neo Soul by definition means new soul. And so he's basically positioning that this is something new. This is a new genre and these are the faces of that genre. And by Bryson Tiller saying trap soul, he's creating a new genre that people can relate because people know trap and soul is kind of like it speaks for itself and then positioning himself as the face of that genre. And when you create something new, you by nature become the leader in that space. So who's the number one artist in Trap Soul? Bryson Tiller. That's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.